Wes Brown is a player with tremendous work ethic on and off the field. The junior from Alabama has proven himself to his coaches and has become a leader for the volunteers. Growing up, I was a Tennessee fan, and getting to be here is just a dream come true for me. Nicholson back to throw, pressured this time. Tennessee going after him, and they get him back at the 40-yard line. Wes Brown is the guy who pinned him, but great pressure that time, a loss of four. Wes Brown is a guy that goes hard every play. He's really, he's really quiet. Uh, he's not a rah-rah guy, but when the ball snapped, then he's going to perform. The way he goes about his business uh, on and off the field makes him a leader. Wes's hard work in the offseason helped to improve his game and keep up the intensity the Vols defensive line brings to every game. Wes has tremendous speed for a guy his size. Uh, I think where he's improved the most is his pass rushing ability, and that's starting to show up for him right now. The defensive ends we got together and worked you know, a couple times a week on pass rushing. I think the last two games we've, we've had some pretty good success. We're real close to being where we want to be, but you know, we just got to keep getting better. For Wes, the challenge of getting better on the field has also included battling with a knee injury. It was started bothering me in the middle through fall camp in August and, and two a days. And I saw the training staff and just kept playing through it, kept playing through it. And I finally got an MRI and it showed a, a tear in my meniscus. I have good days and I have bad days. I mean, there's the good days, I, I mean, I can walk and run just fine. And there are some days where it's hard to get out of bed in the morning, but overall I can't complain. It could be a whole lot worse. So as long as it stays like it is, it's going to be just fine. He doesn't want out of practice. If we would let him practice every rep, every day, he would do it. He's committed to this program being the best that it, that it can be. And it shows, it shows what he's made of inside. It's not easy. You know, the, obviously there's some pain there, but he's pushing through it because it's important to him. Number 94 brings a lot of heart and determination to this Tennessee team. His selflessness will continue to make things happen for the Tennessee defense. My teammates deserve every bit, I, every bit I've got in me. I mean, you lay your body on the line every week anyway, I mean, for the, for the good of the team. And you know, if it starts bothering me, I'm not gonna be selfish. I'm gonna get off the field and, and try to get, get where I can get back out on the field. So it's a team game and I'm out there, you know, laying on the line for my team every play. When his career's over here, uh, he'll be able to look back and say, hey, I did everything I could to make Tennessee a special place. Rolling right, Tennessee's coming hard, pass incomplete. We're trying to get this team back on track where, where it has been in the past. We know what we're capable of, we know what we got last year, and we know what we can do this year. It will be up to players like Wes Brown to lead this team into the remainder of the season and continue the winning tradition at Tennessee. I'm Rick Russo reporting for the Philip Fulmer Show.